When it comes to streaming, there's a common misconception that it's all about playing video games live in front of a camera, and it's all about getting the monster plays and the awesome clips. But if you're trying to make it big on the industry, sometimes sitting around by yourself and playing video games just isn't enough. And you know the reality is that streaming is not just about playing video games. You can definitely see this when you go to Twitch and you check the just chatting category, it's almost always the one that has the most views, and usually people that are not playing video games. So what is streaming about if not about playing video games? It's about building community. And the big secret to growing on Twitch is not to get viewers because anyone can get viewers. The big secret is how to turn those viewers into community members. And a lot of big streamers understand this and this is why you see them hyping up their viewers by hosting big events or they have community nights in which they include their viewers as part of the show, as part of the broadcast. So that's why today I wanna to talk about a couple of video games that you can start playing on your stream that have really good synergy with playing with your viewers so that you can start hosting community nights and turn that viewer into a returning community member. If you're new here, my name is Steven, and this is my YouTube.com channel. You should totally subscribe to it, by the way, because if you do, you'll get more videos like this one, which will help you reach your creative goals. I just want to start off with the most important tip that I can give you today, and that is to take a game that you're already playing, a game that you're already streaming, and find a way to host events for your community in that game. If you're streaming games like, for example, Super Smash Bros, Apex, or Fortnite, and you want your viewers to turn into community members that will keep coming back into your stream, you gotta have community events like hosting tournaments, custom viewer games, or kill races, because those events give your viewers something to look forward to, and it breaks the cycle of repetition of always watching you play the same game. And if a viewer feels like they're part of the action and they're being included, I guarantee guarantee you that they'll be coming back to your streams. You can check out websites like Tournament or Smash.gg that'll help you organize these events. And don't forget that using Discord is a very powerful tool for communicating and keeping your community up to date and letting them know what's going on inside the tournament. By the way, check out my Discord to find a community of creators helping each other chase their dreams. Links down below. All right, I'm not here to tell you that you, a streamer, should try hosting a Minecraft server for your community streams, but I will tell you that apparently when you do host a Minecraft server on your community streams, people really seem to like that. People really like to play Minecraft and they just love playing Minecraft with streamers. Getting your viewers involved in a world that you build together and just hang out, create whatever and just go on adventures that's perfect that's great people like that and minecraft is a great community building experience so again i'm not telling you that you should but if you do decide to try it don't say it's because i told you so but because you want to host a minecraft server on your community streams if you're a streamer with absolutely zero game awareness and you have absolutely no dexterity, if you find yourself at the very bottom of the mountain of skill, then boy, do I have the game for you. Marbles on stream. Here's a game that's so low maintenance, so low gear, you're basically playing as a spectator and a commentator. You just join in the game and let your viewers type that play command on the chat to get their own marble and just let gravity do its thing, you know? Just raise those marbles downhill all the way to the finish line and if you're the talkative type that likes to get involved in chat and not worry so much about being good at the game, I definitely say you check out marbles on stream marbles is actually a really good option because you don't have to be good at the game the game plays itself basically although it can get very repetitive just rolling marbles non-stop they do also have words on stream which you can check out or you can check out the next suggestion that i got for you right now all right so next up we have stream raiders here's a game for you to play on stream to add interaction between you and your viewers if you don't know about stream raiders it's a battle game that can be played during downtime on your stream you as the stream captain get to choose the battle and have your viewers place units on the map to build your army and this is all happening while you're playing your main game while you're playing fortnite valorant apex whatever the game has an overlay on obs that shows the time left until the battle for your viewers to join straight from their web browser and when the battle is ready simply just Click start. Have the units fight, collect loot and scrolls to level your units up, unlock more units, more skins. You get it, right? I myself am currently hooked on Stream Raiders, so whenever I see my streamer friends live and they have Stream Raiders running, and they always see me just putting units there. Bloop, bloop, bloop. That's me. So it's a really popular game that's happening right now. I definitely say you check it out and see if you like it. Next up, we have Jackbox Party Pack Slamow. The Jackbox Party Packs is a series of party games, just like drawing, trivia, fill the blanks, you know, just your usual college party. I never went to a college dorm party. You can play Jackbox online, and with Twitch integration, your audience can take part and play along with you. Their games are usually the go-to when it comes to community streams, charity streams, and like subathons. I personally don't own Jackbox, but I've played with some streamers, and it's a pretty fun way to get the community involved, and the best part is that you only need one copy of the game. When it comes to the Jackbox party packs, there isn't really much to say. Their name is almost like a given when people think of community nights, so I definitely encourage you to check it out and see if it's the kind of game you want to play. 
If you have any other suggestions for games you can play on your community night, let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to start building a community, but you're struggling to get your first couple of viewers out the window and into your channel, I made a video on how to stream to zero viewers and how to start growing your YouTube, your Twitch channel. I'll leave a link somewhere around here. All right, but that's all I got for this video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. Check out my Twitch channel. Links are down below. Go hit that follow button. And once again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Check out all the other videos I got for you. And I will see you guys live.